Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today, we're on Chapter 7.7, .7, Trigonometry Identities. This is a great A star video, and so I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So, wrapping up uh, Chapter 7, this is the last part that you need to know about, which is the two identities. Good thing is that the paper will give you those two identities on the first page, so you really don't need to remember those. But you really need a lot of practice because you need to rearrange really well and not to confuse yourself, uh, learn how to factorize or uh, expanding correspondingly to the question requires. And so, yeah, let's try some example questions. So these are the two um, identities. Sine over cosine is equal to tangent. Sine square plus cosine square is equal to 1. And these two are given uh, on the paper, so don't need to re worry about not remembering them. And the first thing I want to do is to demonstrate um, this rule. The fact that you can rearrange it to be sine theta equal tangent theta times cosine theta. And do you remember the Sakyoto uh, rule or Sakatoa rule? Um, you can have these three fractions up. This is sine, this is cosine, and this is theta. Uh, not theta, uh, tangent. So, um, what you can do is basically if you rearrange this equation, you can make a big bracket about it and multiply those two, and that would be equal. The reason is because it, uh, the a's uh, cancel each other out, and you are left with o over h, which is sine. So that is true for this rule, and this is kind of the proof of it which you don't need to know. And for sine square plus cosine square equals 1, I'm not going to talk about the proof for that. It's way too complicated, and that would take a lot a lot of time. So let's do a question that I've constructed, which is sine square theta over tangent square theta is equal to cosine square theta. So how about that? Well. What you can do is, um, when you're trying to prove an identity, you can never cross a, bo a border. So the equal is not a, w a river anymore, it is a wall, a concrete wall that you can never cross. So cut that off. We can only work with one side at a time. So either we want to work with cosine square theta, of sine square theta over tangent square theta. So, which one do you choose to start off with? I recommend you guys to um, start with the more complicated side, which in this case, the left hand side. So, the format is LHS co uh, colon, then you do the calculation bits. So, we know that sine square theta is uh, sine square theta over tangent square theta is basically uh, sine square theta defined uh, by um, co tangent square theta. So that is quite obvious to some of you, or maybe it's not. Let's see. So. Because we can't use the right hand side at all, we don't need to worry about it. Just focus on the left, and we have this. And in this uh, first, um, in, not inequalities, um, identities, we know that tangent square theta is, well, we know that tangent square theta is tangent theta squared. and tangent theta squared can be um, pretty much written as sine square theta over cosine square theta, given that this is true. 
and so we can rearrange this whole thing to become sine square theta times cosine square theta over sine square theta and who knows these two cancels out and what you're left with is this cosine square theta or RHS so that is the format remember LHS and RHS is um, they can give you credit for um, well it's it's not a big thing but it's just presentation it looks a bit better for the examiner and maybe they'll give mercy uh, they will show mercy uh, to your paper so uh, for this particular uh, chapter it's a bit difficult for me to make a video on because you really have to do practice questions and I can't really talk about things that can happen because it's so unpredictable and yeah the only thing that I can give advice on is to solve uh, the complicated one to the simpler one like what we have done to solve the um, fraction into the not fraction and um, the third thing is this question like these type of questions really take a lot of time and you need to think carefully without stress and if you are so nervous I recommend you to just plain old skip it until the end make sure you've done every single thing on the paper before you attempt this question because it can be um, tricky but it's really not that important as there are always gonna be only uh, at most one question on this topic and it's probably gonna be less than four marks worth so it's def uh, definitely not worth getting stuck on this question and waste the time when you can use those time to do other question at the back so if you're stuck or if you're not good at these question just skip it and you won't lose a lot so now I have only two example questions for you to do at your own time and the answer to this because this these are the proof and I've checked that the left hand side definitely equals the right hand side so all you need to do is to try and simplify it to what it looks like basically and yeah that is it I have included um, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 uh, because that is the real life example for exams uh, although I didn't do an example on that I'm sure you are capable of trying it yourself so that's it for me and I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video